Sup, new log. I was just logging and stopped it and started this because I feel like I wanted to start talking about something that was quite important, um, which was software development and how, like, how very meta it is. Like, this is why software fits in so many different businesses. It's because it, like, it's like liquid and the business... Uh, uh, the businesses are like containers or vessels for that liquid to fill and the idea is to use software to basically automate all business processes I feel like <laughs> you know that sounds like a good goal why not for now you know hyper automation and things I just feel like personally I can develop software pretty all good, it's just I require really like concrete design directions. Um, so in terms of completed projects, like in order for me to increase my completed project count or like project completion rate or whatever, like. I require more vessels to fill, you know, with my software, so to speak. So it's kind of like, it's really not what you know, it's who you know. Because, like, you can know how to develop software, but it's a bit like a painter with a paintbrush who's a masterful painter but doesn't know anything to paint. Like, there's nothing going to paint, you know, kind of kind of thing so it's like I was thinking about this web platform I want to make called information doc trader uh, information doc trader or info doc trader IDT and basically it's a marketplace like if you're from New Zealand there's a place that's basically like local New Zealand version of eBay or a similar trading platform and so it's like that but with information documents so like itineraries insider info like just better knowledge better wisdom vendor that for cash or like online payment and basically it's really basically what I'm trying to say is like you know tinder the dating app how like if that app was platinum level membership like but free I'd say the philosophy of that dating app is like better and you'd get way less like seedier behavior from the apps if you're a tinder user you probably know what I mean like the glitchiness the bugginess and um I feel like it is encapsulated in Tinder, how basically it's like if you wanted to make a premium dating app that had like all the premium features like unlocked like if it was really about the service rather than money making um, if it was really about matchmaking people and you made the best possible software and that's what you offered like It's like how would you get people to join that you know it's like not what you know it's who you know like because you need people it's like why you need networks and to leverage networks and that's why like business is social and all about networking I feel like um so yeah like with IDT if I wanted it to take off and be successful it'd be like really the network the people the demographic it appeals to like the people who know about it the people who use it it's like also I just want to interject here with what I was saying about really like build it and they will come basically you know so there's that approach like just build a solid as system and unleash it into the wild and see how things go like I don't know, maybe I'll make a dating app and see how it goes. Just like let it go and um, 
put an optional optional donation type thing and just focus on creating a quality software system and offering that as the service or offering that as the good being offered you know software as a service is just so shiesty it's like kind of it's like not the best investment I don't know it's like with YouTube music having a library full of mp3s or just streaming and not really having anything when your membership cancels I don't know there's a good deal and then there's a better deal I don't know if we're talking about optimality I don't know nah nah can you explain that one more time nah anyways I'll end this vlog here and upload it because I felt like that was important for me to document that and so sharing is caring